Hey there once again, this is nbb.com with another video on laptop customization. Today we'll show you how to open and upgrade one of the most sought after gaming notebooks currently on the market, the Acer Nitro 5. In our thorough step-by-step -step guide you'll learn how to upgrade the RAM, the PCIe SSD and even how to put an extra SSD into the Nitro 5. The older model actually came with an easy to access maintenance lid that lets you gain access to the components inside. I have no idea why but Acer has abandoned that user friendly approach, which makes this new model spoiler alert, a little bit more bothersome to open. With this iteration you must take off the entire backside of the laptop to gain access to the components. Don't worry though, it still isn't that hard and we'll show you every step of the way how it works. All you need to open the Nitro 5 are a screwdriver and a spudger made out of metal or plastic. Everything you need can also be found in the video description down below. First off, we'll start by switching the laptop off by shutting it down in Windows. I know we're being kept no obvious here, but believe me, you cannot believe the amount of people who simply start working on their laptops while it's still in sleep mode. Once you've made sure it's off, ground yourself by touching the radiator or another metal structure in your home. Are you grounded? Cables off? Good. Now we can flip the Nitro 5 on its back and remove the 11 screws holding the back cover in place. As you can see, I've already done that. It pains me to say it, but the hardest part is yet to come. At least if you don't have Dracula-like fingernails. So let's take out our spudger and use it to loosen the back cover. Once the tiny hooks snap out of their place, you know you're on the right path. Now use a little bit of force, without pulling like a crazy person, to get the cover off. Underneath the cover we can see that Acer has opted for a very clean design. So let's take a little tour of the inside. On the left we can see the double fans and if you want to put in a new M2 SSD make sure it has the same form factor. In our case we need a regular 202080 sized PCIe SSD. Simply remove the screw holding the metal cover in place and gently press the new SSD in the connector. Acer was nice enough to already place a thermal pad on the inside of the metal cover so we simply have to press it back onto the new SSD. Screw it back in place and you are done. Right underneath the PCIe slot is an open space for a 2.5 inch hard drive or SSD. Acer provides you with an extra cable to connect one to the Nitro 5's mainboard. There are also some extra screws that come with each Nitro 5 that can be used to screw the SSD or HDD of your choosing in place. Just put the SSD into this designated frame. Use your screwdriver to fasten it with the aforementioned screws and then plug the HDD upgrade cable into it to connect it with this little socket on your mainboard. Now our Acer Nitro is loaded with storage units but we won't stop here. Let us go back up to the two large fans and follow the heat pipes until we will find the RAM slots. This is by far the easiest upgrade for this laptop. Simply make sure that you buy SO dim sized RAM with the proper clock speed. If you have an Intel processor that usually means 2666 MHz. If your Nitro 5 comes with an AMD Ryzen you can go as high as 3200 MHz. The RAM clock Ryzen CPUs ship with is usually lower though. So make sure that the clock speed matches the one already being used in your Nitro 5 if you simply want to replace one RAM stick. To replace the RAM simply lift it out of its socket. Place the new RAM the exact same way as the previous one. Done. Let's take a quick glance at the battery now. As you can see it's not glued in so you will be able to replace it at a later time. And that's it! We opened up the Acer Nitro 5 and switched out some of its components. I for one really enjoyed it. Hope you did as well and if so please leave a like or a subscription to our channel. Any questions or ideas on this video? Let us know in the comment section down below and we'll surely be back soon with more English language content for you guys. Until then, have a good one!